welcome back to my youtube channel uh, so in today's video i have invited manas rajan who is currently pursuing his phd from iit delhi uh, so without any delay to start with uh, today's video let manas introduce himself his background and his journey from bachelor's to phd uh, so manas uh, the floor is yours hello everyone uh, i am manas ranjan patnayak uh, basically i belong to barampur and uh, there is a town in odisha so i completed my schooling uh, like till 12th uh, in barampur only in 2014 so after 2014 i joined nit raurkela in the department of mechanical engineering for pursuing my btech so in 2018 i graduated from nit raurkela uh, um, with a mechanical engineering degree so after 2018 uh, i directly joined iit delhi uh, as a phd scholar uh, through the pmrf program Uh, so yours was uh, direct phd after btech yeah yeah i i joined directly iit delhi after uh-huh. my btech uh, so coming to this admission process what was the okay. admission process and uh, was there any interview uh, for this okay so let me tell this in all details so in 2018 only like uh, the year i graduated uh, from nit raurkela that year only uh, this program this pmrf program was supported by the government of india so this is a very new program basically so in the first uh, like i am one of the first with student uh, who have cleared this uh, interview and all those things so around i guess uh, february or march uh, 2018 uh, so this uh, website was formed the pmrf website was formed and the process the application process starts so mm. in addition to my ap- application to foreign universities i also applied to this program as well because uh, the scholarship amount was good uh, in this uh, program and also i don't wanted to pursue masters because i was like uh, i'm pretty much uh, ready with my research proposal on all so like i just don't want to waste my two years uh, by pursuing masters that's why i was very keen to uh, join a phd program that's why mm. in almost all foreign universities and in this program i directly applied for phd all right so in may in sorry in march or april i uh, applied for this program and maybe after my graduation around may or june so they uh, called for an interview mm-hmm. so during my application uh, uh, we were asked to submit a couple of recommendation letter based on our past experience and they also asked us to submit a research proposal so th- this research proposal should consist what you are willing to do in your phd it is okay. not your resume it is a research proposal like you have to mention a particular project mm. how it will benefit the society and how the country will be benefited from it so maybe after uh, their final scrutinization they called for an interview so i guess the final scrutinization is based on the research proposal your resume and your gpa so okay. Uh, i inquired in the uh, interview section what was the qualifying um, criteria for the cgpa thing and they said that it is around 8 okay and one more thing is that as uh, i am one of the first batch uh, who have like offered this program so uh, in that year only students from iits or nits can yeah. only apply for this program so yeah uh, then i was asked to appear for an interview and the uh, interview was offline so i was called to iit madras so mm-hmm. that is the um, uh, that is the uh, universe that is the college that is conducting interviews for all mechanical branch students okay so i guess almost uh, around 300 to 350 students appeared uh, for the mechanical interview mm-hmm. so the make uh, interview is like uh, uh, lasted for around 1 hour for my case okay okay and the interview was totally technical like whatever you have uh, 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 proposed in your research proposal mm-hmm. so the entire uh, entire interview was based on that only okay and they tested everything like they tested uh, your all technical del- details whatever you have done in your btech but after that interview I, w- i was like satisfied that i answered almost like i cannot an- i didn't answer mo- all the questions but i answered uh, as per my expectation okay. so i was uh, like confident that i will be selected for this program so maybe after around 15 20 days i got the mail that uh, uh, iit madras had recommended me uh, for joining this program okay. so after that uh, we were asked to uh, fill a form mm-hmm. where we need to give uh, three preferences 
three or like uh, uh, there are i guess 20 or 25 preference you can give but i okay. gave only three preferences and the first one is iit delhi mm-hmm. the second one is i guess iit uh, guwahati and the third one is uh, iit kharagpur okay so because uh, in the past i have searched uh, all the iits portal and uh, i have uh, like noticed few of the professors in this three iits only are working in my domain Mm-hmm. so in my research proposal also i have written a similar thing that i want to work with this professor if i am get selected in this program okay so previously like i already prepared the list so i gave only these three options and i got the first uh, that is iit delhi okay yeah so manas rajan you basically come from uh, nit and uh, uh, will there be any privilege for uh, iit nit and tripleti college students to get into this uh, phd program uh, through this pmrf or yes uh, i heard that uh, the students from local colleges who give the gate examination and uh, who score good uh, ranks in that they can also apply for this pmrf scholarship uh, i'll tell you this so after this july 2018 entry like after my admission got over there was one more uh, interview round that was held in december 2018 so okay. that was also quite similar to like that also consist of only iit and nit students mm-hmm. but after this two rounds of interview mm-hmm. a lot of students uh, from the entire uh, entire country mm-hmm. they like posted several feedbacks uh, that why only iit and nit students are getting uh, special uh, privilege and yeah 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 <laughs> so maybe like after this december 2000 entry so by july 2019 uh, the ministry uh, included all the colleges mm-hmm. so uh, uh, with some criteria like let's say they have to appear uh, like the uh, iit and nit people can directly appear for the interview and like they can directly apply otherwise mm-hmm. the other people can um, uh, submit their gate scores mm-hmm. and like and there will be separate gate score qualification for the other students mm-hmm. and based on that after this uh, after that qualification round they can appear for the interview Okay. So again, that continued for around two rounds. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe like uh, uh, July 2019 and December 2019. Mm-hmm. Again, there were uh, feedback from uh, countries that why again this is uh, happening. Mm-hmm. So after that, again in 2020, July 2020. Uh, so till then, I guess uh, the pandemic has started, uh, mm-hmm. like July 2020 entry. so the ministry totally changed the uh, admission process for the bmrf program completely they reversed the uh, admission process so now the admission process is like this that any student can ap- uh, appear mm-hmm. but they need to first apply to any iits nits or iiss through mm-hmm. normal phd program first okay as per the iit rule they need to first enter into iit as per the normal phd admission process Mm-hmm. maybe get score is required or some iits may conduct uh, some inter- interviews or written examination but your admission will be like a normal psd mm-hmm. after you get into any any of this colleges like iits or iiss then you need to um, uh, apply at, at your department uh, for this pmrf program okay so the department will now conduct uh, interviews and they can ask your research proposal based on that the department will recommend to the ministry that yes this candidate is fine uh, mm-hmm. to get the pmrf scholarship so after that you will uh, be selected as a pmrf scholar so yeah this is the process for now okay so what are the privileges you will get by getting this uh, pmrf uh, scholarship so, like what is the stipend details and uh, i heard that yearly you will get some uh, huge amount like maybe 2 3 lakhs for your spending and okay Okay, so for the scholarship thing, for the first two years you'll be getting seventy thousand per month. That is your scholarship. That is non-taxable also. Mm-hmm. For the third year you'll get seventy-five thousand per month, and for the fourth and fifth year you'll get eighty thousand per month. This is your scholarship, and for your research uh, grant, you will be getting two lakhs per year per year. But okay. uh, that can be carried over to the next year as per IIT Delhi rules. Okay. and also i have seen most of the iits they are also allowing the carry over of the amount so basically you will be getting 10 lakh to conduct your research uh, okay. and apart from that your scholarship is there.